What's happening food surfers? I'm Eric Surf6. Welcome to Eric Mealtime. And in this one, we're doing a very special burger shop. It's a family owned burger place. They have fish burgers, all different other kinds of burgers as well too. Let's have a look. Oh my, this is a lot of burgers, very heavy. Tokuzo Burger, that's the name of the shop. Family owned and operated for three generations. So I believe they started out a fishing family. So it's four burgers and then I got some fried stuff as well too. And it is 10.30 in the morning. This is lunch in the seaside town of Atami, Japan. Burger number one, the Saba Burger, mackerel burger. Oh, it's got a nice looking bun, toasted bun. It's like it's served teriyaki style. Oh, look at the glaze on that. That is a big piece of fish meat right there. Oh my goodness. And then of course lettuce, but yeah, teriyaki, that is kind of one of the most popular ways to eat burgers in Japan. All right, let's shut up and get in here for a bite. Oh, and the sauce is overpowering, but oh, that is some delicious meat in there. Oh, that's good, a bit on the tough side. But oh, the glaze of the sauce. Mmm. It tastes more like a dessert food. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Never had a fish burger like this. Super, super sweet. Oh, oh that's good. All right, let's try the lemon squash. And these are Izu lemons here from the local area. Ooh, so <laughs> It's very tart, the way I like it. All right, next up, let's go for the Keen Made Eye Burger. This is the famous Golden Eye Burger. And this one's gonna be, well, let's just take a look at it instead of guessing. There it is. Yeah, this fish is a delicacy. So, wow, you get two pieces. Oh, oh, it's tender. It's falling apart there. The golden eye fish. So the lettuce is on the bottom, which is interesting. Typically lettuce is served on top of the burger. So, all right, going in. This one's got more of a pureness to it. Mm-hmm. Not as sweet as the last one. That is some tasty meat. Oh yeah. And the same bun on this one. The bun is very nice. It's a good looking burger. And just about the right amount of sauce. Not too much like the last burger. Next up are the potatoes. Oh yeah. Thick cut fries. Looks like they've got some maybe nori dried seaweed on them. Mmm. Oh, just like eating a whole potato. Oh, delish. It's got the potato skin on it as well, too. Oh, these are good steak fries. Mmm. Camera person wants a close up. Okay. Can't eat. Got to get the close up. Let's try some of this wasabi sauce on top, shall we? First time I've seen this, it's called wasafuru. Made in Japan. Let's not go too heavy on this because I've never tried it before. No idea how spicy it's gonna be. Well, it smells spicy. Ooh. Oh, it's drenched in the wasabi sauce. Oh, it's too much. I prefer some mayonnaise and some ketchup. Oh, overkill. Oh, beware of this stuff. Oh my gosh. 
And the price for all these burgers will be listed down below, I believe. They're more or less around five or six dollars each. And this is a very special one right here. This is a tamagoyaki burger, an egg burger. Look at this Japanese style, a big slab of rolled egg on there. Oh, wow, look at that. That is a lot of egg. Oh my goodness. It's dressed with some butter on top. I like that. You don't get that very often in Japan. And then again, the lettuce at the bottom. Oh, it's slippery. <laughs> slippery, slippery. That's it, just egg. Egg, butter, and lettuce. Okay, this is a first. Oh, the egg is sweet. It's really sweet, it's got sugar in it. Oh goodness, this is more of a, this is more of a dessert food, really. I should have had this one first. This is breakfast, goodness. The egg is thicker than the fish burgers. What a trip. But it is actually morning right now, so we're good. And the next burger is a Yakiniku burger. Yakiniku. Look at that grilled beef. That looks yummy. It's got mayonnaise on it and some sauce. Oh, it's glistening. Okay. Going in for the Yakiniku burger. Oh, juicy. Mmm. -hmm. I believe this is karubi or short rib. And again, it's in a sweet sauce. Mm hmm. It's got some creaminess from the mayonnaise. Oh, this is tasty. This is really tasty. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That is a good burger. Let's get another bite. Mm. All right. All right. We've got a couple other items here that do not come with the buns. So this one here is the Keen Dai. Again, the Keen Dai fish fried with salsa on it. It's a different style. And this here is a Wagyu burger. So officially this is a mince katsu. Katsu means pork, but this is beef. Japanese beef. Uh-huh. Typically served with pork. It's really nice beef, but it's got the sweet sauce on it again that I don't particularly care for. Without it, it would be better, I think. Or the wasabi sauce. It's just super, super sweet. But the mince katsu, this is nice. The beef, it's got some onions in it. Mm. It's got a nice breading on it, crunchy. This will fill you up for sure. It's definitely a good quantity. Good portion size for a minced katsu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is tasty. And next up here is the Keen Made Eye, fried Keen Made Eye with salsa. Go for a giant bite, shall we? Mmm. Now that's a good sauce. Let's get some more of that sauce on it. Yeah. So nice to have a tangy sauce instead of a sweet sauce. Mm hmm. Dessert has arrived. And this is called the Tokuzo Soft Cream Dog. So it's an ice cream hot dog, basically. The trick is gonna be how to eat this. The bun is like a deep fried donut. Sweet. Mmm. Wow. It's way better than it looks. Yeah. Imagine ice cream on top of a donut. That's what it is. Mmm. Oh. And we've got some black coffee to finish it off. 
Oh, strong. Mm-hmm. Well, now it is time to rate this meal. These were some interesting burgers. I like Japan's take on seafood burgers. Yeah, it's, it's a rarity to find in this kind of place in Japan. So on my rating scale, I think I'm gonna give this a five out of six. It was a pretty good meal. Some of the sauce is a bit too sweet for me, but overall, some good eats and fresh fish. So there it was, five out of six. I hope you guys enjoyed the meal. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We'll see you next time.